there, fellow travelers, Mark. And Jocelyn, and we're in Turks and Caicos, and we wanted to talk to you about what to pack when you're coming to Turks and Caicos. And to make it easier, we have our beach bag, a very lightweight beach bag, with a few of the things in here. So I got this bag um, a couple trips ago in Belize, and it's really, really thin, and it's great because I can pack it in my suitcase, and it takes up very little space which you know is really important to me because I don't like to pack heavy. And one thing you should know is when you come here to Turks and Caicos, this is a beach vacation kind of place. So having a lightweight beach bag is a lifesaver for it all really the other is. stuff to have. Uh, just taking your towels down to the beach and things like that as needed, it's great. But as we like to do things in a fun way, we have our bag. And so here are some of the things you should bring and pack when you come here. Okay, Jocelyn, ready? First. Dun -dun -dun -dun. first. Obviously, you can't go to the beach without some Havaianas or just well, flip-flops. Yeah. <laughs> and the thing is, if you're going to be going to like Iguana Island or something like that, there's a lot of sand spurs there that'll get you. And you may think, I'm just going to walk on the beach barefoot. And you can do the beaches, the like beach the water. Is fine. It'll be fine. But if you're going to go where yeah. there's any scruff, there is those sand spurs. So definitely, definitely absolutely need to have some flip-flops. Mine yesterday after we got out of there were covered in sand spurs. So, so that's definitely. a big definite. All right husband number two water shoes here's the thing if you're going to be adventuring around maybe you're going to do some diving or maybe you're going to just be walking on the beach and you got little kids these water shoes i mean aqua socks water shoes there's so many different words for them bring a pair of these because it's going to save your feet when you're walking around because there's a big coral reef here i mean you don't walk on the coral reef but Obviously. just in case you want to have that but also there's a ton of ton 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 of what kind of shells conch shells uh-huh and those spiky things can hurt so having these strong bottoms when you're there can really make a big difference it is helpful isn't it yes, yes. next up all right dun, 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 dun. oh boy how much do you need some sunscreen here this is spf 50 i think we needed more can you tell yeah and you need to reapply it often if you can get the coral reef safe kind of stuff that would be better because the third largest coral reef in the world is here right and you're going to go diving there if you can scuba you can scuba there it is really cool or maybe if you don't want to like go out on the boats out to the reef you can go to the coral garden here in provo and do that but you got to have the sunscreen absolutely got to have it and got to have a put have a lot of it because we've gone through this entire container in what four days four days on the beach <laughs> and the thing is all these things you can get here too but the price is here really really expensive Expensive. like ridiculous expensive so make sure um, you have some of these we're talking three and four times what they are in the states so definitely be prepared with that i think there's another bottle in there too oh uh, maybe but dun, dun, dun. <laughs> yes have a hat if you're going to go to the beach whether male or female make sure you have a hat to take with you because that sun will beat down and if you're maybe hairily follically challenged like i am you will get burned on the top of your head as well so do bring a hat um especially at little kids if you get the ones for the back to protect their neck too that would be a great thing to bring yes next up so because the bugs are actually running by my face about now you should really bring some bug spray um there are the no see -ums. No -ums. The, the no see -ums are the worst. They can, like they got me, when it gets to be, the sun starts going down, my legs start getting eaten alive. So you Mark got the no see -ums. attracts bugs. It's probably why you married me. Um, but anywho, <laughs> exactly. <laughs> but there are a lot of little critters out there and there are mosquitoes. They're not tons of mosquitoes. The, the worst one is the, is the no see -ums, but you definitely want to bring yourself some bug spray. Yeah, so that was another thing. Next up. Ah. Uh, Ziploc bags. You can bring any old kind of Ziploc plastic bag, um, but you definitely want to bring at least one or two for those things that you don't want to get wet, even if it's just a book. But you know, you can put your um, your phone your in there, phone, your wallet your in Kindle, there, your wallet, your camera, any, anything that you're toting around that you don't want to get wet definitely bring at least a couple of these um, along with you. And the thing is, is you're going to need these, whether it's at the beach or if you're going to be going on one of the many boat trips you can do here, you'll probably want to have these to put these in your bag or keep them in here. Things may not get sub submerged, but definitely things will get damp. So to keep that off, it's really important, right? Yeah. And speaking of keeping things damp, I don't know how that goes with that one, but okay. It doesn't. It's the opposite. Definitely get yourself an underwater camera. This thing has been so cool we've taken out on so many trips with us and um i'm sure that mark you have seen some of the stuff mark puts i'll in. put some of it on here right now 
But I'll be honest, these things are great because since you're gonna be doing the diving, because here you can dive for the conch shells yourself. Like we were diving we down 14 yesterday. feet, 20 feet. And so you can dive your adventure down there, the other people. It's a really kind of a cool thing. So definitely bring an underwater camera. Also, if you have an extra battery, bring an extra battery too, because these things tend to, when you're filming underwater for some reason, it really eats up the battery a lot. And you'll see a lot of cool stuff like, yeah, we, they're parrot fish, and we, I mean, we saw a thousand different kinds of really cool fish and fan corals and all sorts of stuff. But along with that, um, it's not a bad idea to throw in an extra battery pack into that Ziploc bag too, if you're gonna be doing tons of filming, right? Yeah, and, and filming and picture taking and, uh, and all that kind of stuff. And the thing is, is you're gonna be at the beach, there's no plugs there, but there is a <laughs> lot of, I actually have seen a lot of Wi-Fi on the beach. So there you might eat through your here. phone battery. So it might be a good idea to pack one of those too, so you can take it with you. Now, some stuff that's not in our magic bag that we should bring, we should probably talk about clothes when you're here. Yeah, so um, it's hot. It's, it's always hot. It's beautiful hot. weather here all year <laughs> round. Kind of Just, perfect, except during hurricane season. But my guess is you're not going to visit during hurricane season. I brought like a couple, three really lightweight dresses. Um, but generally speaking, we've lived in our swimsuits and um, maybe a cover up or a long sleeve. <laughs> <laughs> I might all know. <laughs> I, I did. I always bring no matter where I'm at. If I'm going to a beach, I always have a long sleeve white button down that I can throw on. Um, just because when you get hot and it'll keep the sun off of you and oh, that's that's my go-to, right? Yeah, and the thing is, is think more like resort wear. I mean, you can just do your, your swim trunks and shirt, t-shirt and go around, you'll be fine here. At most places. Most places, but if you wanna go to one of the nicer restaurants, cause there are some nice ones here, you don't have yeah. to be all fancy fancy, but. Well, you know, men should probably have like a polo shirt at least, you know, like something with a collar. Um, this kind of dress is fine, just a light cotton dress or something. You don't have to go overboard because yeah, you don't it need, is a beach, right? Yeah, and you don't need, like for the men, like you got just one collared shirt with a nice pair of shorts, you'll be able to get in pretty much anywhere. It's not going to be a problem. Yeah. So So I think that's it for um, for clothing, right? I mean, I yeah. always have my cut off shorts and a couple of t-shirts and you'll probably want to buy a couple of t-shirts here. We actually saw some really cool ones while we've been here. So, yeah. um, you know, you'll buy those things, but... And I, otherwise. I guess otherwise, since Turks and Caicos is pretty expensive, I would recommend packing a few snacks to bring with you because like a typical entree at dinner might be $40, lunch might be about $20, and you can go to the grocery stores here, but we are on an island. So the prices are a lot higher than you expect at home. Oh my gosh. What would have cost me maybe $50 at home in groceries cost us $135 the other day. So be aware that prices for food are definitely higher. And, yeah. um we're definitely spending more on on dinners and, and lunches. Lunches are costing us what dinners typically do. So, yeah. but the food's been great. So the conch and the lobster, Absolutely there's plenty of great it. food. It's worth it. I'm not upset with the price we've paid no, because, because it's been so good. The quality and and the the service and everything is up to the prices. It's just it's a lot. Yeah. So so maybe pack some snacks. Like we brought a bunch of granola bars and kind bars and stuff like that. Also, you can bring some alcohol in the country. So you might want like we brought a bottle of wine with us so we could have a nice romantic uh, stay here because the kids aren't with us for one our first can trip in it? ten years without <laughs> the kids, twelve years without the kids. Yeah. So we're here with this. That's been very nice. Um, anything else? What else should we have them pack? Your patience because it is island time here. So you need to have a little more patience it's when you are here. But it's not bad. it's not that that bad. But that is one thing you should know. Also, pack your U.S. dollars. They use the U.S. dollar here. There are ATMs, but I haven't seen a lot of them around. So do bring the cash with you when you come here. So, so you do have some cash with you. But in general, your Visa and MasterCard, and most places took American Express too. They've been fine like yeah. that, so you pack like that. Anything else we can think of? I don't think so. I think that, you know, just bring extra sunscreen as the sun beats down on me with yesterday's sun yeah, still on we, my skin. <laughs> we, we went snorkeling for half a day, then came back and then went conch diving all afternoon. So we, we, thought, we, we reapplied, but it, it does wash off. So do be you. careful with that. Yeah. So oh, one more maybe thing. Maybe having. You know, we forgot. Mm. Since the kids aren't here, we forgot to talk about what to bring for your kids. Oh. I would say bring one of those, get the rash guard um, oh, shirt for the kids. Oh, absolutely, be a really for, good idea. Yeah, because of all the sun and everything like that, that's a must for the kids. Yep. Also, I would bring like some kind of beach toy, like maybe a little soccer ball or a little football or just the pail and bucket stuff. Yep. So they have that because the thing is, you can buy them here. You can buy them here, but it's just You're expensive. You're just going to pay for it. Yeah. And Turks and Caicos is a beach. You, you beach and relax, and that's what you that's do. That's all there is. And that's it. So if you got kids coming, you want to bring some stuff. So maybe throw in some Uno cards as well. Oh, yeah. So we have some family type stuff. We're good, We're good with that. We yeah. always have our Uno cards. Yeah, you know us, play. Uno. 
<laughs> Always, man. We make tons of friends around the world for that. But uh, yeah. so I think that got some kid stuff in there. Anything else? Mm, not too much. I, no? Well, no. I did want to say sunscreen. It wouldn't be bad if you just brought a ton of waterproof or water resistant sunscreen. Also, ladies, water resistant mascara. Yes. <laughs> yes, that's true. Anyway, we hope this helps you know a bit more about what to take when you do go when you do come here to Turks and Caicos. We do have other videos. Uh, what to know before you come to Turks and Caicos. We got a don'ts of visiting Turks and Caicos. We got one we'll do together with actually the food of Turks and Caicos to all help you out. We wish you a great time here in Turks and Caicos. You want to say anything else? Bye. Have fun and pack that sunscreen. Yep. We'll see you later. Bye. Bye. Oh my gosh, we're so stupid. Just pack your swimsuits. Yeah, I mean, that was an obvious one. Like three or one. four of them, because yeah, that's what you live in. Yeah. Okay, bye. Swimsuits. <laughs>